Good morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. Uh, I'm do like I'm. I'm in this um, therapy group. Hey, uh, and um, every Monday, and I get like the worst headache ever uh, after every session. So um, I've been uh, in a, like a really bad headache this night and. Uh, and also this morning, but uh, I hope that the yoga will, will make it better. But I feel like I'm a little bit busy. We're going to start in, in Taylor's position. It's day 106. And we're going to do some energizing yoga today. So yeah, go down on your sitting bones. Straighten your back up. Roll your shoulders back. And focus your eyes on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards. Pay attention to where your breathing is in your body. We want to slowly lengthen it. So on the inhalation, feel how your belly is expanding. And on the exhalation, drag your belly button towards the spine. Beautiful. The breathing we've just been doing, we're going to do through the class. But before that, we're going to do the fire breathing. And the fire breathing we do by pushing our belly button towards the spine as quick and hard as we can. So inhale. So much let's get up to all our course we're gonna warm up 
with a cat and cow. So on the inhalation, come forward with your belly, the cough breath. On the exhalation, come down. Relax your neck, relax your shoulders. Inhale up. Exhale. Three more. Stop in neutral position, tuck our toes under and on the exhalation come to downward facing dog. Relax your neck, relax your shoulders. On the next exhalation walk your feet forward. Place your feet hip width apart and just grab your elbows and lean forward. Relax your neck and relax your shoulders. Just drop your arms and on the next inhalation, collect your elbows with the opposite way around and just feel the difference when you make such a small arrangement with your body, what happens. Exhalation, let go of the arms and inhale, come up to standing. Oh. Looking ahead. Excuse my language. Okay, come to the front part of your mat. Big toes together, heels together. Press the inner part of your feet down towards the mat. Just spread the other three, uh, four toes out as much as possible. Find a micro bending in your knees. Find your root lock, your mid lock, and an energy all the way out in your fingertips. On the exhalation, palms together in front of your heart. Inhale, come up. Exhale, bend forward. Come back with your right foot. Inhale. Come back with your left foot. Knees, chest, chin down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Come forward with your right foot. Inhale. Come forward with your left foot. Palms together, in and all the way up. Exit, bend forward. Come back with your left. 
left foot. Inhale. Come back with your right foot. Knees, chest, chin down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Come forward with your left foot. Inhale. Come forward with your right foot. Exhale. Palms together, inhale all the way up. And we do the second, and exhale. Come back with your right foot. Inhale. Come back with your left foot. Knees, chest, chin down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Come forward with your right foot. Inhale. Come forward with your left foot. Exhale. Palms together. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, bend forward. Come back with your left foot. Inhale. Come back with your right foot. Knees, chest, chin down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down. Come forward with your left foot. Inhale. Come forward with your right foot. Exhale. Palms together. Inhale all the way up. Exhale. We're going to take a big step. We're going to work in a forward bend. A wide forward bend and then for the first time ever, we're going to start to put some pressure on our head. And this is where our crown chakra is. And um, for me, if I have a headache, the pressure like to stand and headstand. I don't want to do that because I can't see you guys. So, <laughs> so it's hard for me to, to you know, move from where we are now to headstand without no, knowing, having any idea of where you guys are. So we're not going to do it, but we're going to like, you know, just put a little bit of pressure on the head, um, on the top, top, the crown chakra. Uh, but we're not there yet. So put your hands on your hips, look halfway up the ceiling, I don't look up the ceiling and exhale, come forward. We place our hands on a row here. Today, because of the headache I'm having, I'm trying to relax, so I'm not pushing in as much as I, I sometimes do. I'm just trying to really relax my head and neck and lean forward. Inhale, come halfway up. And lock your hands behind the back. And Inhale, come halfway up, and exhale, come down, and grab your big toes.
my niece. <laughs> I couldn't decide really if we were gonna put in another, another, <laughs> I don't think we have time for it. Okay, so when we start to put a bit of pressure on our crown chakra, it's really important that it's actually our crown chakra that is down towards the mat. It's very, very, very common that you start placing like your forehead, like here. You feel like this is where it should be. It's not. You want to have like, if you imagine that the spine continues up through your head, it's about here that it would get out. So this is the part that you want to be towards the mat and where you get the pressure on. And that's to get an alignment. So we want this part of the head down towards the mat. And in the beginning, I think that this position is the easiest, where you place your hand so that the angle in the elbow is 90 degrees. Very, very often here, you want to have your hands in line with your head. That's not what we're aiming for, because we want to have three balance points, which you get here. So this can be painful, you know, but from it, what we're going to do today is just to straighten our legs. So put your toes down to the mat and straighten up. And we're going to leave it here today. down into child's position. the class. I'm going to celebrate a friend who is turning 40 um, today. So um, I feel like I'm in a rush before like you know, everyone else is starting working. Uh, we're gonna finish with the meditation so get down your sitting bones, straighten your back up, focus your eyes on the area between your eyebrows that they're like, looking inwards. And let this eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area, you find an inner room where you spend some time just for yourself. There's nothing that has been and nothing that will come. And it's just you in this moment.
manage to cross together with three shanti. So put your palms together in front of your heart and inhale. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Place your, your palms to your forehead if you think good thoughts through the day. To your mouth for you to speak the truth. And to your heart, for you to follow your heart and to be kind to yourself and to other people. Thank you so much for starting your day with me. It means a lot to me. And I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.